Congratulations. I saw the movie last night. It is awesome. Oh, I really amazing. enjoyed watching it. Thank you. <laughs> um, what, what got you into this film? Because I, I saw that this is your first horror film. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, it, it literally found me. I, I wasn't expecting on booking it. I wasn't expecting to book it. So that's, I mean, I, I, horror is my favorite genre. So like I, when I, when they said, hey, you got the part. Like I couldn't say no. Like, this is awesome. I love it. So that's pretty much how it, yeah, how, how I got it. It's, I know it's different from my past things, but it's definitely my favorite and what I've been wanting to do. So I'm really happy that I got the opportunity. Yeah, horror fans are some of the most intense fans there are. Uh, how has the reaction from the horror community been towards the, um, your role? I, you know, I, I, I don't know yet. <laughs> I, I haven't, you know, looked for anything or heard anything. Um, so I hope um, <laughs> a positive, uh, they have a positive reaction to Jane and uh, how I brought her to life and the film in general, because I, I, I had such a fun time filming it and I have such a love for, for Jane as a character and the entire production in the film. So I, I hope they like it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will, it, it's, a, it's a good film. Um, Jane, is a shy character in the beginning and has that evolution. Uh, how do you, your own person, how does your own personality compare to Jane's personality? I, now, I mean, I'm very loud <laughs> now <laughs> and, you know, open and confident, and honest. And, you know, um, I was totally Jane back in high school. So channeling Jane and stepping into Jane's character was very much just going back to high school, my high school years and reliving that so it was uh it was interesting to go back to how I used to be very you know meek and and trying to find a sense of belonging um but then also and, you know already being like this new person like you know who I grew into be um so it was kind of like I was like oh like I just wanted to give myself my old self a hug like I wanted to give Jane a big hug um but I did get to see how far I've come as a person as an artist through Jane by going back to how I used to be. And it was really, it was a very special moment for me, for sure. Definitely, and it, it, despite this being a horror movie, it's also kind of a coming, coming of age. Like she discovers yeah. a lot about herself. Um, how did you prepare to do that? Because she does do that gradual change throughout the entire movie. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, Drastic times call for drastic measures. <laughs> and that's definitely what happens in Jane's case. Uh, she's put into this horrific situation and she, she has no choice but to like find her voice in order to survive. Um, and I think that's, but I like how Jane is very composed throughout the entire film still. You know, she, you know, she's not as meek, but she is very focused and, and very like, she's a problem solver. She's not just going to panic and, and be loud out of nowhere. Like she very much still keeps, is as composed as she can be in a situation like this. Um, so that's kind of how I feel like her, her evolution is very like a slow, like, you know, it, it gets there slowly, like very gradually. Um, yeah. And I think that's, that's really interesting as she's going through, you know, as, this, as the film progresses, it's like, you can see like moments where she's like, takes charge a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until finally she has no other choice but to survive <laughs> uh, at the, uh, you know but I'm not going to spoil anything I'm going to stop myself because I'm I'm a I'm a spoiler I spoil <laughs> <laughs> no problem <laughs> um, since you're a horror fan this is your first horror movie what are some of the most memorable parts about making this film um that every everything everything about it was just perfect like I no, people are probably be like, oh, I can't, I'm sure it wasn't perfect, but to me, it really was. To me, everything about it was perfect. The cast, the crew, the, just the, the whole experience and, and even the locations, like they were all haunted. So what better way <laughs> to film a horror movie than being a haunted location? So it just, it just, it set the mood, it set the tone, like it, it was just, you know, I, I, I don't know. It, it was, uh, Everything about it was just such an incredible experience. Um, getting to explore, you know, um, different parts of my acting that I, I hadn't gotten the opportunity before was a lot of fun because, you know, it's 
when, when it comes to acting, it's like you're given roles, but some of them don't really allow you to fully show what you can do and express yourself and, and to show your range. And this was like my first where I, I really got to tap into that and show a little bit more of what I am capable of. And there's so much more even from there that I have to show, but I'm glad that I was given this opportunity to kind of begin that journey. Definitely, because I saw you do a lot of voiceover work. So was there any obstacle in transitioning into, you know, being on camera? No, actually, no. It's, it's, I think they, they're very similar. You know, a lot of people don't think they're voice acting. I mean, it's like voice acting and you have live action, which, yeah, the differences are obvious. But um, in its core, they're very similar. Like you have to use your imagination. You have to put yourself there. Um, and you have to, to just like bring characters to life. And I kind of think sometimes voiceover is a bit harder because you have to convey like range, like a huge range of emotions with just your voice. And then nobody's seeing the work. Like, you know, sometimes like you'll hear uh, a line, but people don't see that <laughs> in the booth. We're like moving our arms. We're moving, we're, we're you know, using our bodies and nobody sees that. Um, but no, it wasn't, it wasn't difficult at all. I, I would just, you know, it's kind of the same, but not. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and, it, you know, if you had to sell this movie to somebody, what would you say in order to make them watch this? It's so fun. It's so fun. It's so much fun to watch. Definitely. And um, your cast seems amazing. Uh, how much fun was it to shoot with them and, you know, <laughs> get to that point where you guys are at, like actually seem like friends on screen? It was you, since the table read, I, I think everybody could just see. I felt it. Everyone could just see that the chemistry was there. It was, it was, you know, it was, I think, two months. We had the chemistry read two months before actually going to Georgia to film. And in the chemistry stayed. The chemistry stayed. It, it just like we were there. And it's like, oh, yeah, I know that once we get on set, this what we have here at this table read is going to show on set. And it's just going to grow and develop it and just explode on, on camera. Awesome. And who was your favorite person to you know, oh, play no. alongside? <laughs> um, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say, actually, because I, I, I love, we're like a unit, I think. I can't just like have a favorite because collective, like as an ensemble, it's like you can't do well without the other. We just all complement each other so well. So I think the character, I have to say that I had the most fun and enjoyed the most, you know, acting with was uh, Christian Camargo. Yeah, so, uh, oh, for sure. Awesome. Well, congratulations on this. It's an awesome film, and I hope it gets the audience it deserves. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Thank you.